So the first step is going to be to tap the device to continue. So we're gonna do that. Your crypto and other digital assets are stored on the blockchain. So keep that in mind. Your tokens are always held on the blockchain. So to own and manage these assets, you need the private keys linked to them. Okay, so Ledger Flex generates and protects your private keys. Really cool, so keep that in mind. Use your Ledger Flex to securely review and sign transactions. So again, we talk about it all the time on the channel. The reason you want a hardware wallet is because it allows for another layer of protection. Um, cold storage, your tokens, your, your keys to sign a transaction are held offline. So let's continue here and set up Ledger Flex with Ledger Live Mobile or Live Desktop. We're gonna be doing this mobile. So you can also do it desktop. Let's go with the mobile version because most of you should already have a phone and I wanna keep this simple. And I like the fact that we can use this little beautiful device. Um, in fact, this is the nicest device I've ever used. So to give you guys an idea, I've got tons of hardware wallets and this one is by far the nicest. So I'm gonna go with Ledger Live Mobile. And right here, we're gonna to scan to open the Ledger Live app. So we're gonna to connect to, so here we're gonna to go to our phone and we're gonna to go to ledger.com. So here we're just gonna scan that QR code, go to ledger.com. So what we're gonna do is download the Ledger Live app so now we're gonna download this one. So I've already previously downloaded this app in the past. So what we're gonna do now is download the Ledger Live app. You guys can find this very easily in the App Store. So we're gonna let that download and I'll see you in just a minute. All right, so once that finishes, what we're gonna do now is open up the Ledger Live app. So once we're there, we're gonna see a screen and we can then choose which device we have. So here you can see a beautiful animation. So we're gonna to go to get started. Then we're going to accept the terms and conditions. And now we're going to set up our ledger or access our wallet. So if you already have a wallet, you can do that. What we're gonna do is set up our ledger. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna choose our device. So if you have something like an X, this is the S plus, but if you have an X, which is very similar, you can interact with the app in the device via Bluetooth. So we're gonna hit on Flex. Right away, it's found our device. We're gonna hit on Ledger Flex, and now it's pairing. So here we have our number, one, two, three, six, seven, nine. Yes, it matches, so we're going to hit pair. Yes, it matches. So now it's going to pair the device. There we go, so we have a genuine check, OS update. The next step is to use the Ledger Live app to confirm the Ledger Flex is genuine and up to date. So we're gonna check that for that. So we're using the Ledger Live app to confirm the Ledger Flex is genuine and up to date. So let's update now. Here we're just gonna wait a couple minutes All right, so now we're gonna confirm the installation on the Ledger Flex. So here we are going to install. So now it's gonna process and install the update. So here the Ledger device is going to restart a couple times and we're gonna to get to the restore settings in just a minute. All right, so the Ledger Flex OS is now up to date and we can begin to finish that. Okay, so now we're gonna continue and we're gonna get into the good stuff. We're gonna set up the device. So, all right, so now we're gonna dive into the fun stuff. We're gonna set our name, do our pin, and then get into our secret recovery phrase. If you guys want, you can skim through the video. I'm going to have timelines for you. So let's set the name and we're going to put Moose. And if that doesn't work, we'll put Crypto Moose. And the screen is really cool. I like this e-ink technology. Moose, it's your ledger. Tap to continue. So guys, by the way, when I'm setting up this wallet, I am doing this 
for a tutorial. So make sure to use your own recovery seed words um, and have your own pin. Do not share it with anybody. This is a tutorial. So if you guys are planning on setting up your own wallet, create your own pin and you're gonna have your own words. So do not import the words you see in this tutorial. Entering the wrong pin three times in a row will reset your ledger. So choose my pin. So for the pin, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so again, this is for the tutorial. So our pin is set. We're gonna tap to continue. All right, so now we have two options. We can either set up a new ledger or restore a wallet. So in the case that you've already set up a wallet and you lost the device, all you have to do is order another one and then import your seed. So you would do that with restore. In this video, we're going to set up a new one. So we're gonna hit on set up a new ledger. So what we're gonna do is tap to continue. It's a sequence of 24 words, okay? Keep in mind when you are setting up a brand new hardware wallet, you wanna make sure that you write down these words properly, chronologically. I'm gonna show you how to do that here in a minute. And also never share this with anybody I'm going to show you the words as I am doing a tutorial, okay? So I understand. So now what we're gonna do is go to our recovery sheet. Okay, and here we have our recovery sheet and we'll put the phone back in a minute. So here we have our recovery sheet and what we're gonna do is write down our words. So here we have our recovery sheet and here we're going to write down the words we see on screen. So one will be wedding. Two will be verify. And then three will be economy. And you wanna take your time. I'm going to throw away this because I'm doing this for a tutorial. So now we're gonna continue. I'm gonna write down all 24 words and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so we just got done writing down our 24 words and what we're gonna do is confirm our words. So it's gonna want us to make sure that we wrote things down properly and that it's legible. This is by far the most important aspect to setting up your wallet. So make sure that you take your time, make sure it's legible. And again, never share your words with anybody. I'm only showing you for the tutorial. I will not be using this wallet. So now we're going to confirm our words. So let's start confirmation. Okay, so it's gonna ask us to find word number one. So here it is going to be wedding. Okay, so word number two, verify, and we're gonna continue the whole way. So three, economy, and four is going to be hobby. So if you did write down some words that you find are not super legible, what you can do is go back in and rewrite it. And what I recommend you to do is get these on metal. So in the case of a house fire, you're still good. Um, also, you have the other recovery sheets so you'll have three of them. So if you did mess up one of the words, you could potentially fix it. So I'm gonna go through all these words and you guys can do the same. I'm gonna speed up the video. We'll see you in just a minute. We have just completed our secret recovery phrase. Take your time and never share your words with anybody. So we're gonna to tap to continue. Again, don't share, don't lose it, don't let too loose. Now you're in control, so tap to continue. And now what we're gonna do is install some apps. So with Ledger in particular, the way they do it is by installing apps. So that's basically going to be the networks and the tokens that you wish to utilize with your app. Um, so here we're gonna go to install apps. So here we got Bitcoin, Ethereum, 
So what we're going to do is allow for a secure connection. So we're just gonna start with the basics. Perhaps we will have other videos. Guys, comment down below if you wanna see videos on how to install apps and how to send and receive. So um, perhaps that's a video I will be doing down the road is how to send and receive tokens using this wallet. So let's install the Bitcoin and Ethereum app. Already on screen, we can see our Bitcoin logo. So right now it's installing Ethereum. And those are going to be the two biggest blockchains in the world. All right, guys. So we just successfully set up our Ledger Flex. Um, so what you can also do is have a backup with Ledger. Um, so we're not going to do that right now. But if you're someone who is worried about, you know, losing your seed phrase, um, this may be a good option. So you just have to verify your identity, create a backup, and then um, you will be able to get access in the case that you lose your sheet. We're not gonna do that. It looks like we have a lot of different things that we can do. We can transfer assets to Ledger. Basically, you're just going to send funds to your public address. All right, guys, so now that we've set up the device, let's just log in. So we're gonna open up the Ledger Live app. We're going to hit the side button and I'm gonna put in my pin. So now we can see our Bitcoin wallet as well as our Ethereum. And here we're going to connect via the app. So guys, open up your app and we're just gonna close that. We're gonna tap the Moose device and this works via Bluetooth. So here we can see our apps and here we've got our Bitcoin and Ethereum. All right, so all you're gonna do is select Moose and it's going to connect via Bluetooth. Um, so if you guys want, you can add different apps. For example, we have to add Cardano because we love Cardano. So you just hit that plus button and go to add app. And there we go. So now we are installing different apps. So perhaps we'll add a couple of different apps just to give you guys um, a little bit of action here. So we're gonna add Cardano, maybe XRP. I think that would be kind of fun. We also have DOT, a lot of different assets. So I do like that about Ledger. You can add a lot of different assets um, to this wallet. So we now have a Cardano app. So if we go to assets, we can hit under Cardano. So again, we're gonna go to wallet. When you open up your wallet, you're going to see the different apps. So we now have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano. And what we can do is go to my ledger, tap. And now they are communicating. So here, if we go to Cardano, you can go to wallet and we can go to receive and we're gonna choose the crypto to receive. So here we're gonna go to Cardano. There we go. So open up Cardano app and the app is going to enable us to sign transactions. So now we are creating a Cardano account. So that is how you create a Cardano account. So here we can verify my address. So here we now have a address. So here we can swipe to continue. And here we have our public address. So you can also show it as a QR code. So if you want to send crypto to that address, boom, just scan the QR code and you're ready to go. Okay. So here we're going to hit cancel. Now what we're going to do is tap to connect. And now we're going to hit on Bitcoin. So here we can go to wallet and add account. And we're going to hit Bitcoin. So now it's creating a Bitcoin wallet. And if you take a look here, 
You've got Taproot, SegWit, Legacy. I recommend to use native SegWit. It's a more modern version um, and it's going to be cheaper um, for the most part with your signing of transactions, okay? So now we're gonna go to continue and see your asset. So now if you want to receive Bitcoin, hit on receive and you have your native SegWit. So now you can verify the address, whatever you want. Here we're gonna make sure we're back into the app. Okay, so now the device is unlocked. So now you can go through your steps. So here is our address. So we can show it in the form of a QR code or just copy or confirm, verify address. All right, so we've now verified our address. So here we can close out, quit app, boom. So now if we go to Cardano, click on Cardano, here we can go to receive. Verify address. Address verified. Now we're gonna to go to my wallet. We're gonna to go to add account. We're gonna use ledger device. So we're gonna go with Ethereum. And we're gonna make sure that we're connected to this device. Now we're gonna open our Ethereum app. All right, so now we're gonna to go to continue and see your assets or add new asset. So we're gonna see asset, boom. So now if we go to receive, now we're gonna verify the address. It's gonna sync up. Now we're going to confirm. So we've verified that address. So now we can see our balance with our app. And all we're gonna do now is go to wallet and we can see, we can send and receive with the app and verify with the device itself. So that's how you're going to add different accounts and begin to play with your crypto. So for example, we've got our Bitcoin, we can now buy, we can now receive, and once we have some, we can send some away as well. So you're going to basically open up the app in order to verify slash sign transactions um, when you have um, a balance. So, okay. So now you are all set to go. Um, so guys comment down below. What are your thoughts about this device? If you have any questions, comment them and perhaps I can get to you. Um, also keep in mind, head over to the link tree. We've got links in there for online courses, a bunch of different things, affiliate links, so you can save money on different devices. So with that being said, the moose is loose. We'll see you in the next one.